Hi, this is Jeff Howell. Today we have a Gold Tone OB250 banjo. You've heard how it sounds, and we're going to go over it pretty quickly. Uh, and we'll start actually with the headstock. Uh, this is a maple neck, I believe. The headstock does have uh, inlay in it. Um, Gold Tone uses bone nuts, which make it sound better. And as we go down the instrument, we'll notice that it has the hearts and flowers inlay, similar to Earl Scruggs' banjo. And I'm going to turn it so you can see the binding. Uh, and that is actual real wood binding there. It's very attractive. That's not plastic. That's actually wood. Now, we'll look at the body of the banjo. And uh, you can't really see it, but it's got a bell brass tone ring which gives you the best sound. It's got a Canadian three-ply maple rim, which also helps to reflect the sound and give you the best sound. Has chrome parts, uh, which are pretty much like the old Gibson parts. Uh, chrome is great because it uh, doesn't show wear like nickel does. Uh, it's got the full one-piece uh, flange, and it has a solid tailpiece. So just look at the tailpiece Gold Tone uses a couple different ones, but this is a very good tailpiece. Now, this is a blem. What does blem mean? Well, it means two things. Number one, you're going to save a tremendous amount of money. And number two, it's a cosmetic blem. This does not affect the playability of the instrument. So you're going to get all the advantages of the Gold Tone instrument and a great discount. And let's face it, after you've owned a banjo many uh maybe a year or so. If you go out and play it, it's going to have marks and stuff on it anyway. All right, so what are the blems? Um, and we're going to kind of get out our microscope. So the first one, which we'll do a uh, close-up of, is just, there's a black mark here on the binding, okay? Right in there. I believe the binding's secure. Everything's fine. Okay, now the second blem, we're going to actually turn the resonator over. And you're going to see where the neck, okay, this is just a place that is a blem where there's finish missing, and pretty much what you see is what it is. Now, we're going to go to the other side of the banjo, and you're going to notice that the resonator has, uh, has a crack in it. Uh, this crack has been filled in, but of course it is a crack, and this is definitely a cosmetic uh, blem. And then there is on the um, around the edge here I mean I, I could almost take a pen or something. There's this little uh, place there where there's no finish. No big deal. And uh, the other thing that's cool about the OB250 it includes a really nice hard shell case. Uh, I think the case it sells for well over a hundred dollars and you can see the case right there and uh, that's basically it if you have any uh, questions you can go to atl music and education and we'll be glad to help you in any way we can